work like that. Let me do my job. In other words. All right, y'all, it's your girl Candy B, and y'all see y'all popped up at my boy Corey studio. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Holding it down, Corey Roth in the building. And I got Yo Dougie here as well, who What's is an artist you? that Corey produces. So y'all, I'm going to get into it and ask him a couple questions. So, Corey, um, what are the key elements that it takes to be a good producer? Uh, key elements, I think, um, is having a quality, um, also knowing what you're doing, too, also as well. Um, and whatever works for you, it works for you. Like, I can't go to somebody else's studio and be like, Ma, you know, because my system works for me, you know. So um, just knowing knowing how to deal with people also as well is another aspect. Um, being mindful of people, you know, also uh, people's, you know, attitude, being able to conform to people's attitudes. Different and personalities. Personalities, that's it. Right. Okay, so do you ever get somebody that's, like, hard to work with and you got to figure out how to... Do I? All the time. All They're the like, time. I want it this yeah, way. Yeah, I want it this way. Can you hear this? And then people fail to realize that, you know, I'm here to engineer. Right. So after they get done, they be on out there, want to be there. They'll come, man. I didn't really sound the way. I'd be like, okay, let me do what I need to do. I'm going to send you what I do. Give me about an hour. And they'd be like, okay. And they yeah. end up like, yeah, it. that's how it, it well, works. Let me do what I do. I heard that. Okay. Yeah. So like let me do my job. In other do. words, Just number what are the yeah. perks that come along with being a producer? Uh, perks, I, I mean, I get to meet a lot of people. Um, also, you know, pushing forward, you know, the name gets out there. I um, mean, also just doing something that I love to do. I mean, it, it's, it's, I'm touching a lot of lives, so that's really, that's really my main thing. Do you get to travel, like backstage uh, yeah. yeah, all the time. Travel, backstage, um, especially when I go somewhere and I may do music for somebody else. Um, that, that's all that comes with it. Also, when you're in a bigger city like the Houston's or the California's, um, LA's, it's always a backpack, always a back, backstage pass. Really? So always. your plug runs deep. Oh, deep. Yeah. Do you ever get flued yeah. out? Uh, no, nah, 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 I'll never fly. I'll fly out on my own. If I'm playing drums, that's a different story, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, that was so, my next question. Yeah, what yeah. musical instruments you play? So you play I'm drums. Drummer. I'm a drummer. I'm a drummer. That's it. Drummer. I mean, I tab with everything else. I make beats, so of course, but I play drums, really. Really? So. In, the, in the church? Is that where Everywhere. you started? Church. Yeah, I, start, I started in the church, um, but then I started, uh, then I, you know, started, you know, going out, and then I just been, you know, early in my life, I was touring, doing different things of that caliber, um, but then, you know, just... Right. Then it led to this. So, so music is really like your life. Like since when did you know? Like what age? I, I've been I've been doing it. I, I can't even remember. It's just been a part of my life. But my dad was a musician, so it's always been musical drums and instruments has always been around the house. Always, and I just picked it up and ran with it. So you've been in the game for how long? Oh, I've been in probably a good 15, 20 years. Really. Yeah. Yeah. So you went through, how many artists would you say that you probably produced for? G give a rough estimate. I would probably say probably about probably about a good three to four hundred. That's a lot of people. That's, and I'm just, I'm, just get, I'm just saying as far as one of in my hard drive now. But it's probably people, been others man, that way, you yeah, way that. Yeah, it's way more than that because I'm, I'm on like my fifth, sixth hard drive since I've been here. So. Dang. You know, people done came, some people done came, we done lost some, and you know, other artists too also as well, you know, on a national level, that's always a... I was good. So what celebrities have you? Uh, Boss, Boss Hog, Little Ray, um, I was doing a mentorship with EP, who does, who is with the game, DJ Battlecat, who's does, he's with 1500 or nothing right now, big shout outs um, to him, he's had, he got a big impact on everything, also as well. Um, uh, Slim Thug, that, and these was in my younger days, you know what I mean? These was in my younger days. Uh, Lil, Lil Kiki. Um, Kiki. Uh, you know, uh, Propane. Uh, uh, what's, it's really Houston, a lot of Houston That's artists. That's what I was going to say. Uh, Scarface, um, also. Uh, nice. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Zero. Shut uh, yeah, up. I mean, my brother Zero. loves yeah. Zero. Zero. Shout out to hard. my big bro. Zero hard. He hard. He hard. That so. is amazing. So it seems like you generally do rap. Do you do what other genres? R and B. Well, um, yeah, I'm, country. Uh, yeah, country, R and B. Um, also gospel. I I do a lot in gospel. A whole, probably more, in, just as much in gospel as I do. Praise in, the Lord. You gonna, thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> just as just <laughs> just For as much real. as just as much as uh just as much as rap I do in gospel and other genres. But I think that's an important aspect because you always want to stay dealing with this game. You got to stay grounded. Mentally, physically, and uh, and spiritually, and you you know emotionally, you have to you gotta have that balance because if you don't, 
this is not it. Really? I promise so you. So what do you think you. is the main part that weighs a lot? What 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 you mean as far as weighing a lot? When you say staying mentally. Um, well, well, dealing with other people. So they energies. Energies, man. You got a lot of. It's a lot of different people that they feel like, right? and they feel like you have to do this, or you know, like I said, going back to what we said at first, control. control. They don't because they feel like it's their session. They won't let you be the engineer. And they feel like you got to. Yes, it, it's a creative process. It's a creative flow, and it's very, it's a very, uh, what's the word I'm using? It's a very sensitive interaction. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I work so well with Dougie, because Dougie can tell me something, and we all, you think it'll work. And Dougie, I, what do you always say is like, hey, man, what you really think? Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, and I give him really what I think, or if I feel like something ain't right, I'll be like, I don't know, man. Or let me go back. Even on me, I'll be like, man, let me go back and touch that again, because I don't really like how it's sounding. You know? I don't really like how it's... And he just let you do you. Yeah. It, 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 see? I, and people, and then you get people like that, they don't, they don't, everybody don't see it as like that. They want to come in, they want to look, you know, I'm just saying, they want to spend an hour and be like, hurry up. I just want to record this and hurry up. And it's be like, bro, I, I, I can't do it in an hour, but I can do it. I, you know, you turn the knobs and listening. And then, hey, man, I just got an hour to spend. I'm like, okay. So to, to uh, produce a song and like master and everything, how long does that normally take you? If they let you do your job. Sure, I can do it. If they let me do my job, and it also depends on them how good they are, too. Mm. I can do it. I can, I, can, I can do a song and it, we can record it, get it ready for, and, you know, Probably about an hour and a, hour and a half. Probably about an hour and a half, two hours. That's quick. Uh, two hours. So when people say. be in the studio for six hours, I'll be like, "What are they doing?" Well, it depends on how it depends on how they're coming. For six hours, if, if that's that that long, they're not prepared to come to the studio. Mm. When you go to the studio, you should be prepared. And then some people like to write in the studio too, also as well for the like get the vibes. And they like to hey, I want to write it here. Let the music play loud. They ain't got to worry about nobody, you know, right. they just want to get the vibes here. So that's probably what they're doing when they're doing a six-hour session, something like that. Um, but if it's just one song, somebody coming in, doing something, and they know it, uh, we can get through it. Okay, look, y'all hear Corey? He said yeah. he been in the game. Oh, man, long come time. Come mess with him. Long, come on, come on. <laughs> Slide <laughs> through. Come on, come on with it. So if you could choose one artist that you could, you know, dead or alive, that you could produce for, who mm. would it be? Um... I, I I know you said one. I kind of got two. I would, okay. I, <clears throat> what I really was when I grew up, I really like Pac, and I really um, my music kind of it influences that. A lot of my um, friends and my mentors, that's what the albums they was working on at the time. So a lot of things, you know, my style became more the West Coast now. Mm -hmm. And of course now, I still I, I do all kind of kind of beats and things of that nature, like the East Coast and the Southern beats also as well. But uh. Really at West Coast, him and then uh, Nip, and that was my thing that I was gonna Dang, do was two get two people that's dead that he would yeah, love to produce yeah, for. Yeah, and even with, even with the Nip, I knew I was I was getting close because there was certain things I was gonna be included on mm -hmm. in the session as far as doing certain things. You know, I was getting close to that, but that your plug all the way up there in Cali. Yeah, come on, D. man, I'm riding on his period. court. You know what period, I'm saying? Period. We can go to we go to California all the time. You know, I'm so on the way. Just, I'm just going to put just, me in your suitcase so I can poke a hole so I can breathe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on with it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I yeah. got my boy Yo Dougie. Let the people know where you're from, Dougie. How you doing? This name is Yo Dougie. I come from Southern Maryland. And um, I've been rapping for about a year by now, since the beginning of 2019. Okay. Yeah. So, y'all, he's fresh, new in the game, in the dub, holding it down for the East Coast. You <laughs> know? Um, so, how long have you been? So, you said a year and a half. Yeah. And how has music been rapping been an outlet for you? It's definitely been a very positive outlet. Um, music's always been a part of me, like, since I was young. I used to be a singer and um, was singing all my life from, like, middle school all through high school. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Let me find that you was out here singing to the ladies, Valentine's <laughs> Day. Let me match you down. I can hit them notes. I can hit them notes. Well, Shut used to. Used oh, to. okay. He said used to, so I switched <laughs> it up. Okay, I'm just going to get these bars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, I've listened to some of your music, which I love. It's like upbeat, you know, very positive. I appreciate that. And um, you had somebody that you did some songs with that I like. Mm -hmm. So, where is that person at now? Or were y'all guys, were you guys a team? Or well, That was my partner, uh, Chan Will. Mm -hmm. a real name, Chance. Uh, rest in peace, peace to him. He had um, yep. passed away last July. Uh, he had got shot. But um, that was my partner, for real. We met out here in uh, March, last March. And um, yeah, that was my partner. We um, so you met him here in Wichita. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he, was he from here? No, nah, he's originally from New York. 
And, oh, um, so y'all just two East Coast, mm -hmm. met in the dub, linked up, started doing music together. Right. That's cool. So did y'all produce an album? I mean, put an album together? Yeah, we had a whole tape out. It's called uh, Future Legends. Um, Y'all go cop that on mm -hmm. on our uh, streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, all that. Is that the one and with the songs that I like? Is yeah. It, it goes hard. What's the song oh. I like? Uh, you dig. I love that uh, yeah. song, y'all. He talking about he don't pop no pills. He just smoke weed and drink Hennessy. Okay. <laughs> I said, I'm with the shit. I <laughs> for real? I like that. He gave it 100. No need for the extras. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, with you rapping without your partner, do you feel you have the same drive? Most definitely. Um, when I first met him, he definitely made me want to be better. Like, his... Like, don't get me wrong. I got some skill, you know what right. I'm saying? But it, my biggest thing was trying to find somebody that was like on my level right and somebody i could c compete with you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying and um ever since he was gone just um just been going harder going harder and harder every time it ain't even been a whole year you said well it'll be almost a year in march mm -hmm. but that's a blessing i mean to have somebody that you can click with right and that y'all you know see stuff the same mm -hmm. and then y'all put music out together you know so yeah. It, it kind of keeps you going, huh? Keeps you pushing for him. Facts. Look, okay. You got any kids? Nah, no kids yet. No, Look, so, no do kids. you want your kids to be involved in music as Most well? Most definitely. I'm definitely gonna um, put them in some piano lessons. Start them off slow, you know. Teach them how to sing. You know, us as melanated skin man, I feel like music is in. It's just in our blood. It is. Like that's part of our whole culture. I feel it. That's what I honestly feel. It is. It's, it's you know. It's, it's our history. Look, do your kids do music or mm -hmm. instruments? Mm -hmm. yep. They all for yeah, it. They doing it. Can they produce too? They yeah, they be in here doing all kinds okay. of stuff. Shut up. I promise you. Yeah. Shout out to the babies. Yeah, of I course. Of I course. went to a performing arts elementary, and yeah. so it was just brave yeah. in me to just to be free, right. express yourself, don't hold back, you know. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to say or do, I'm pretty sure somebody else wants to do the same thing. So mm -hmm. all y'all out there, stick to you, stay true to you, because that's what's going to get you where you need to be in life, you know. That's right. Don't hold back. Please don't hold back. <laughs> <laughs> if you could pick one person to do a song with, who would it be? Honestly, it's two people. I would choose either Drake or J. Cole. Look, those are two of my favorite. I yeah. love Drake. He can't do no wrong. I love J. Cole. Mm -hmm. They're both hard. They're both hard. J. Cole just, you know, the way he thinks is just totally different. Him and Kendrick. Yeah, mm. I love Kendrick, too. I like. Mm. I chose uh, Drake because um, just the versatility, and yeah. I know I could probably accommodate anything he want to show my way, you this know? This nigga said accommodate. I'm not <laughs> mad at you. He's like, what you trying to do? I can do that yeah, too. Yeah, he mean it too. Okay. He mean it too. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Working with that guy is, yeah. Amazing. Okay, so, that. thank you. So, Corey, um, let people know where you're located at. Located. Uh, let them know your prices an hour. Okay, 2823 South Hydraulic. Um, that's where we're located. Um, uh, $40 an hour, but I got uh, pricing on blocks also as well. Um, we do beats. We do the whole nine yards, mix, mastering. Um, Facebook, Corey Young C. Facebook, Young C80 on Twitter, and Corey Young C on Instagram. Anything Young C, that's, Look, that's me. Look, Young C, you on Shan. Yeah. We gonna stay young forever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I messed y'all. He was clowning before we even <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> just okay, wait, so, just wait. yo, Dougie, let the people know where they can catch your music at and... All right, y'all um, can catch me on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, all platforms, YouTube as well, just uh, at Yo Dougie. Just type in Y-O space Dougie. And uh, my Instagram, um, that's the easiest way to find me. Uh, just Yo Dougie, just type that in. That's all my ads right there. Okay, y'all y'all know what song I like. What's it called again? You dig. You dig, <laughs> okay, yeah. yes. So that's on my on Spotify, I download it. So y'all need to do the same too, okay? <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, thank y'all for letting me pop up on you. It's your yeah. girl, Candy B. Got Young C. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, and Yo Dougie. Yep. And we out. Peace and love. Peace, love. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Chan Webb. Yes, sir. You did. Yo. I be drowning through these bands, I be swimming in. Yeah. Niggas hating on the bands, I be whipping in. Yeah. Culture down to the socks, I be dripping in. I bet your may know on my songs, he be singing in. 